Cancer Awareness Month, and the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society is doing all it can to spread the awareness of blood cancer. The Now KC's Allison Bruner is here, and you talked uh, with one local neighbor who knows the importance of spreading awareness. That's right, Justin. He knows the importance firsthand because he knows that every 10 minutes, someone loses their life actually to blood cancer. That's why this man, who's also a survivor, is now an ambassador for, for blood cancer awareness. Life was going well for David Enslin, a beautiful family, a wife, two girls. And then the unimaginable happened at just 46 years old. I had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and found out later after that that my form of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma was considered incurable. Blood cancer nearly took David's life. I may never get to hug my daughter again. I might go up to Omaha and not survive the treatment. And she just, she, she needs me, I need her. In the midst of these unknowns, this is how he fought through. It's all about hope. Fighting cancer, it's, it's a really, it's a team effort. It, it's, it's yourself, your immediate family, your extended family. His brother even helping in the recovery process. So yes, he was a match and yes, he was willing to, to, um, uh, to be a, a donor for me. And because of that donation, David has been able to create memories he never dreamt of experiencing. Once you go through it and you see how much work it takes and you see the other patients that maybe they make it, maybe they don't make it, you realize something good has to come out of this besides I'm going to live, I'm going to continue to live. Today he's been on the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society board for more than a decade using his story to inspire others. There is hope. Now 4,500 people are diagnosed with blood cancer in Kansas and Missouri right now and this Friday there's a light the night walk at the Cleveland Chiropractic Campus. It's a way for you to honor and raise money for blood cancer awareness. They will be walking with one of these lamps a white one to represent a survivor. All right, and so. it should be beautiful as well. Yes, and uh, they're hoping for a big crowd around 6,000 people. So. All right, hopefully yes. there will be. Thank you, Allison. Krista, over to you. I remember when they